So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can get a FPS overlay like I got this small NVIDIA GPU style overlay and many of you have been asking for this lately. So here is the tutorial. But first of all, before jumping in the guide, I will make something clear that I did not design this overlay. I don't know that who designed this overlay officially, but I found this on a form of guru3d.com. I found it there. I installed and I used it. I customized a little bit and then used it. And yeah, so I just want to make it clear that I do not design this overlay and I will I will leave all the download link down below in the description box of the video. So let's get started. So first of all, you have to download the main application which you have to use. We need only one application which is called RTSS or Reverse Tuner Static Server. You can officially download it from the official site of the guru3d.com. I will leave the direct download link down below in the description box. Just simply download the version 7.3.6 final and simply install this like you install any other application. Just simply uh, finish the setup of the installation. That's all with the app. I will leave the main overlay link, the overlay I use. It's called GeForce Overlay. I will leave the ad free download link below the description box of this video. So simply download the overlay. It will be in a zip format. So simply download these two things before we can start the guide. So after downloading the overlay, it will be in a zip format like this, zforce.oval.rar. Right click and click extract here. Use WinRAR or 7zip or any other application to extract the file. And after this, you will see these are the three main file of the overlay, which we have to paste inside the overlay folder of the river tuner. So copy all three and click copy. And now basically you have to open the Windows C open windows c and then open the programs file x86 folder you have to open the x86 folder of the program file and here just search for this folder which is reverse tuner static server open this and here simply go inside the plugin folder plugins then click on client and this is the main folder where we have to paste it's called overlays so go here and here we have to paste all the three files we just copied so click paste so I'm not going to replace because I already have the file, but just simply paste here and that's all. Now we have the overlay inside the overlays folder. So now we have to open the main application, which is the reverse unit static server to enable and set up the overlay. So here after opening the application, it will look a little different when you open this for the first time because of the different settings. But don't worry. First of all, click here on the application detention level. Make sure it's set on high so it detects your game while running in the background. Secondary here you can see this meter. This basically increase the font size and the overall uh, capacity of the overlay on the screen. So this should be on second like here. This is the best. And below you can see two values 15 and 2. These are important to make the overlay look good on the screen. So make sure to select 15 and 20 here. Click here and simply put the 15 value and 2 value there. And then what we have to do basically click here on the Razer 3D plus here the blue one Razer 3D plus and after clicking here now we have to choose the font and you have to choose the geforce font right from here and in case you don't have the geforce font you have to download it and i will leave the download link for this font as well in case you don't have it so simply select the geforce font from here and select the bold and select size to six this is important values to make the overlay look good otherwise the the values of the fps and other things will go out from the uh, the layout of that thing so basically make sure it's z force bold and set on six this will work perfectly and that's all from this page you can check all the settings from here and you can just simply make the same settings as mine and now click below here and click on setup click here we don't have to change anything here simply click on top and click on plugins and here we have to change the main settings to enable the overlay simply click first here these two uh, tick mark click on both the check mark so basically check both of these and then click on hotkey handler.dll and then click on setup here below and this is very important basically it shows show on display and hide on display so they, these are two hotkeys you have to assign yourself so show on hot screen will basically enable the overlay to be visible on the screen 
and hide on display will basically disable you disable the overlay on the screen so select any of the two combination of the keys you like i selected shift plus l and shift plus o and that's all simply select any one and click ok and then what you have to do just simply click on overlay editor dot dll and click on setup once again and here you can see the overlay we just installed is showing up but it will no, not show up in your case for the first time you have to load it manually so click on top click on layouts and then click on load click here and this will basically open the same folder which is overlays where we pasted our files so simply select the zforce overlay we just pasted here is the zforce overlay and click on open and now you will get this overlay on the full screen like this but in your case you will not see any of the values like here you will see missing values because we have not imported the main resources yet so simply click on top and click on data sources and this is extremely important click on data sources click edit and then simply click on add and then choose the internal HAL don't, don't choose any other application just simply select internal HAL and here what you have to do just simply start selecting everything like this simply click on this check mark and select everything you see from gpu cpu ram and just simply start selecting everything here like this and basically you have to select everything here and click on ok down below i have already done this so i had, i will not do again but make sure to do this otherwise you will not be able to see all the values and fps value on the screen and basically this imports the sensors which shows the real time values of the benchmark so basically this will get the data from so select all of these and then click on ok and that's all now you will have all of these sensors enabled here make sure you have all of these cpu temp cpu uses etc everything should be here and then click on ok and now you will see all the values will be working here just fine and that's all now we have the overlay also if you want you can change the overlay by selecting like this and now you can simply move the overlay from anywhere on the screen on top on bottom or anywhere else but i will keep it here it looks best here also if you want to change something like if you want to adjust the font simply click on that value and now you can simply change the text size and percentage if you increase this the text will become more bigger and you can basically change and adjust according to you you can basically modify it so now we have to enable this in the game open your game whatever game you want and now simply press your assigned hotkey you assigned before so like i assigned shift plus l and as soon as i press that hotkey the overlay will be visible on screen and if i press that hotkey which shows hide on display it will hide the overlay like this so that's all simply open the game and simply click your hotkey whichever you assigned shift plus l like this and that's all now the overlay will work in real time and it will show all the real values like this it's showing all the sensors in the uh, real time and that's all it means the overlay it's working fine and if you see that anything or any value is missing just simply go in the data sources and add them from there and you don't need any other application like msi afterburner or any other thing you don't need them also like this i showed before if you change this from anywhere else like if i put it on a top of the screen it will become top of the screen like this so you can easily modify and customize as you like so in my opinion that's all from this tutorial i hope this was helpful and now you can get a small and good looking nvidia style overlay on your laptop or desktop as well so that's all and yeah thanks for watching and bye.